Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting here to show you how to do your own landscape lighting. Well, in today's video, I'm going to go over the fifth most popular landscape lighting fixture, and that is the well light. I'm excited to share this information with you, so let's get right to it. So in today's video, I'm going to go over the well light. Now, well lights are identified by the lights that go mostly in the ground or partially into the ground. And here are two pictures that I have that show the one that is completely in the ground and then partially in the ground. So in today's video, I'm going to go over the pros and cons of a well light because well lights aren't as popular as a floodlight or a spotlight, but they are often still used and I just want to make sure that you know what you're getting into when you buy a well light. So the cons of a well light, most of the time they are dim. It comes with a very large bulb, doesn't produce a lot of light. And a lot of times when I see well lights at a home, instead of using a spotlight, somebody uses a well light. And the overall effect is the light doesn't travel up the home very high. And so when you're standing back looking at the home, it doesn't look like there's much light on the home at all. So if you have well lights or you want well lights that look like this, I highly recommend that you change your mind and get spotlights instead. Now the second con to well lights are how expensive the LED bulb version of it is. Now this bulb is more expensive than the fixture itself. And these bulbs also don't shine very bright. If you're thinking about getting these type of, of well lights and you think, man, if I get the LED, it will fix everything. It doesn't, it only makes the watts go down. Everything else is more expensive. Don't get this option. I don't know why it's so expensive, but it is. Now the third con, to a well light is the amount of times that you have to constantly clean the glass on top of it. If the well light is installed fully in the ground, if somebody mows or there's dirt that comes up or leaves, you have to constantly go out there and brush it off and clean off that glass. The reason why you would run into this is well lights are often placed in locations that a spotlight could go but would be damaged because of traffic or a lawnmower or something like that. So if there is a yard and there's a tree that has grass around it, if you put a spotlight on there, somebody who's mowing the yard will run over the light with their lawnmower. But if there's a well light in the ground, then the lawnmower can just go over the well light. Again, the problem with that is it ends up putting a lot of grass or dirt or leaves on top of the glass so that there's no light that can shine up on the feature. Going over the pros of a well light. The only main pro to a well light is kind of what I mentioned before. If you have an area with high traffic, put a well light there so that the light doesn't get damaged. The only place that I recommend that you put a well light is, is in cement or in an area that doesn't have a lawn mower or an area that won't have de debris covering the glass. Now this area could be in front of a gate right there on the driveway. It could be on steps. It could be by a waterfall. It could be by so many different places and it makes the overall contrast and look of a landscape lighting system so much better. Well lights are an option that a lot of people use correctly, but but they don't realize how much it takes to maintain those lights. So if you're looking to get well lights or you have well lights, I highly recommend that you look into spotlights or floodlights. It does cost a little bit more money to replace those lights, but in the end, it will be well worth it. Or if you get a well light that looks like this, that you can put a normal spotlight bulb in it, then this will shine so much more light on whatever feature you're looking to light up. So this is a better option of a well light for you. Hopefully this video was very helpful. If it was, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Every week I post one or two videos about how you can do your own landscape lighting. Good luck on your project and I will see you in the next video. Bye.